as you guys know by now, we'd love to have a top five. We can't have a show without a top five. So I'm here I for the top five. This one love the top five. five. <laughs> Appreciate it. I came up with this a while ago, but it actually works perfectly because considering that uh, coming up on Sunday, we got the Super Bowl. Uh, so I was driving down the road, was listening to another radio show. I'm sure you guys know which one I'm talking about. They have a little at the end of their se- at the end of their show. They have a little segment where people call in to say like you know, name your favorite candy, your favorite uh, soda, like fast food restaurant. So I kind of got the idea, and then also remembering when we were on the aftermath, how y'all told us that y'all had conversations about what's the best chicken in the meat department at a particular grocery <laughs> store. So, yeah. so since you guys have had this, I think this is definitely up your alley. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create. The best Super Bowl meal, so we're going to have five items. It's top five. One, we're going to have wings because you can't have this without wings. The most important part that you need to have with the wings is the flavor, but you can also tell us where specifically you need to have them from. If you make them yourself, is there anything particular that you have to have? So that next thing is going to be burgers. Same thing, wherever you get it from, or if you make it yourself, what what's your special recipe? A side, a dessert. And then the last thing is a drink. So that's going to be our top five. You guys are our guests. Uh, currently on the screen right now is M16. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot off to you. We're going to do uh, one by one. So real quickly, what's your uh, wing? And remember, specifically, I need to know the flavor. So you want to know where, where it's coming from or just the flavor that it is? Where, where it's, it's coming from, from and the flavor. Yeah, the flavor is the most important part with the wings. But if where it's coming from is that if that's important to you, you also need to uh, let us know where where you got to get them from. Specific, okay. Specific. So that so if I'm basing it on last year, it would be me because easy and I watched Super Bowl together and I barbecued. So yes, it would have it would have been me. And if I'm making them, then we would just do you know barbecue sauce, sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce by the way. That's the one you got to use for it. So that'd be mine. All right, easy. All right, so if I'm not at 16th crib and I can't have his wings, I'm going to Taco Mac and I'm getting the lemon pepper wet. <laughs> okay. All right. Go ahead. Uh, My turn. And right. I might have no, just ahead. had that. Before <laughs> I got um. So. I, I like being in the kitchen, but wings aren't my strong suit. So I'll probably go to uh, Buffalo Wild Wings Asian Zing. All right. Good choice. So I got a, a specific restaurant uh, called US Twenty Three that I used to that I used to go to all the time. It's not that far from. It's on Buford Highway, hence US Twenty Three. Mm-hmm. So I usually go there, but they kind of uh, they went from these size wings to this size wings. So Ooh. actually, now there's this teriyaki spot, and I wish I remembered the name. It's on Jimmy Carter. This is a teriyaki spot. I just discovered that they make some bomb ass wings. But like you, uh, sixteen, I actually started making my own wings. So I don't barbecue them. I don't do them on the grill, right? Okay. I actually, what I do is I throw them in the air fryer. So I throw the wings in the air fryer, right? Then after 15 minutes or 20 minutes, I toss them. And then I throw them back in the air fryer a little bit to, to kind of, uh, well, depends on the flavor. So I got two flavors specifically. Spicy barbecue, that one, I toss it, throw them back in the fryer for a little bit, and then I toss it again after I'm done. The other one is hot lemon pepper. It's got to be hot. It's got to be lemon pepper. Nice. And that's got to be wet. So 60, uh, so <laughs> easy, me and you are on the same on the same side with that. Has to be lemon it. pepper, hot, and wet. All right. Nice. All right. All right. Perfect. That's number one. Number two, we're going to have a burger. Because we're going to be fat asses during this meal, by the way, because we're going to have a lot of stuff. But That's right up our alley, then. The burger. So uh, so I'll, I'll let you put, kick this one off uh, easy. Burger. What kind of burger? And where specifically would you be probably be getting it from? All right, this might come as a surprise, but if I'm getting the burger, it's probably coming from Shake Shack, and I'm getting the double cheeseburger. Mm. I'm gonna have to go after you. Like I know I'm the one that's kind of pushing, but I gotta go to Shake Shack too. Man, Shake Shack, Shack is so good. <laughs> Don't get me started on how great Shake Shack is. Shake so I got Shack. A real quick, funny story about Shake Shack. I did okay. not discover Shake Shack until I went down to Tampa, and my okay. friend went and got Shake Shack, and I was eating that scorpion burger. That scorpion okay. burger is bomb, and she was like, "Yeah, you can only get it here in Tampa. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no Shake Shacks in Georgia." I Google that, man. They got three here in Georgia. They got, yep. and they're close to me. They got one on, on uh, what's it called, near Perimeter, uh-huh. near Perimeter Mall, and then downtown, and then Midtown. I'm like, you tell me I got. So I have to go get my Shake Shack burger, and it has to be a scorpion burger. All right, uh, uh, sixteen, what you got? Um, for me, again, it's another thing where I could barbecue and make mine, but 
to go get one where I really want a burger, um, I probably would say Burger Fire is where I would go to uh, get a burger. Uh, it's got to be a double for sure. Um, but yeah, the double uh, Burger Fire burger would be where I go with that. All right, Dino. Um, I've never heard of Shake Shack before until when my, my sister-in-law works at World Bank in D.C. And across from the World Bank, there's a Shake Shack. And there was like a line going out of there because Barack Obama had gone to that Shake Shack and people wanted to go see him. So she called and she was like, oh, my God, Barack Obama's here. I'm, I'm not I, going for Obama. I'm going for the burger. Right. So, but anyway, that's, that's <laughs> my um, only knowledge of Shake Shack. Um, I would probably buy mine. Uh, I don't have a preference. So Kroger, because it's nearest to me. Um, and uh, stuff it with blue cheese. I love blue cheese. Oh, oh nice. In my burger. That sounds... That Delicious. is fantastic. Yeah. We're, we're going to Zeno's house uh, for burgers next time. Man. Yeah, that's welcome. Sounds great. Yeah. How do you cook that? Um, in the in the oven. So basically, okay. No, I do sear it first and then put it inside the the oven, let it cook all around because I don't like mine like rare, medium, medium to medium well is how I usually like mine. Yeah, medium well is how I do mine. All right. So the next thing is a side it can be anything you want so it could be fries it could be whatever other thing that usually like yo i gotta have this with my burger or or just an excuse to have something else in the super bowl e eating while you're, you're watching the super bowl so it can also be any side that specifically that you always have at the super bowl so it can be a side i'll do mine real fast honestly mine is boring i'm gonna do checkers fries i gotta get some checkers fries i haven't been to checkers in three years but i've had their fries like, because I go to Kroger and I go buy the, the bag of their fries and it tastes just pretty much the same. It's got to be burger, uh, checkers fries. Uh, I'm going to let, uh, Zeno, I'm going to let you have that one. Okay, yeah, so I know I said I didn't care where I get the burger from, but I might as well get the burger from Publix because I'm going to be getting the macaroni salad from Publix, the deli section. Okay, 16. Um, for me, it's, it's, it's fries too. Um, as far as where they come from, I mean... It's fries, man. You know, it's equal opportunity <laughs> wherever it's coming from. But they have these, um, what are these? Uh, they're, they're the Idaho fries that have the, the skin on them. They come in a brown bag. Um, yeah, they're good in the oven or on, the, you know, or frying them. They go well either way. So I'll probably throw some cheese on top of those and mm. I'm good to go. All right. Easy. Um, I definitely love the checkers fries idea. Um, between them and Popeyes, they probably had the best fries. I never had Popeyes um, um, fries. I ain't gonna lie. Oh wait, I need to change mine. I just it just dawned me. It's Zaxby's fries is where I'm gonna go Ooh, if I'm yeah. buying somewhere. Oh, Those yeah. are the ones. Uh, Underrated. Hold on, hold on, Zeno. Hold on, uh, <laughs> Zeus. I'm sorry, Zeus. You need to go to Popeyes. Get you some fries. They're great. Um, take it from me. I'll go, I go I'll there get the once fries a week. With the because uh, I never had that chicken sandwich either. Okay, well, I mean, if you, you got to get the spicy one though, don't get the regular. Yeah, you got to get the spicy. spicy. Yeah, well, yeah, definitely get spicy. It ain't messing with Chick Fil A, but it, it, it does its job. Uh, I've had Zach to be honest. I haven't had Popeyes yet, so I'll probably go do that this week. But yeah, sorry, go on. <laughs> What's up with you people in Georgia just not going to Popeyes? Y'all got locations I, everywhere. I, I've been because it's got New Orleans on it, man. They avoid yeah, what that, we got. That actually oh, has a lot to do with it, probably. We got, we got a, a underlying like hatred towards it or discrimination yeah. against it. it. Heck, I went there before I was even like a Falcons fan. Before I started watching football, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, well, well, there you go. Um, if I had to do a side, I'd probably make um, homemade dirty rice, or if I'm feeling really fat, I might just make a gumbo and then put it in a side bowl and have that as my side. Nice. It's because you're putting the meal inside of a side dish. It's a side. Absolutely. <laughs> if you put yeah. it in a small bowl, it's a side. I like the way you think. Yeah, it's all about portion. All, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the next item we're going to go with is, is a dessert. Wherever you want to get, whatever dessert you want to get, cheesecake, cake, um, ice cream, whatever you want. So whatever you want. Uh, 16, uh, I'll go ahead and let you uh, take this one. Um, it's apple pie. It's simple, but yet effective. So apple pie, I'm gonna throw some ice cream on top of it. And um, yeah, that's where I'm going with that. Okay, okay. Zeno? Uh, red velvet cupcake from Cami Cupcakes. Oh, Cami Cakes, I think is what they're called, but yeah. Okay. And uh, 16, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, easy. Uh, so for me, I'm going to my nearest supermarket and I'm getting a Oreo ice cream cake and uh, probably eating the whole thing by myself. 
Okay. All right. Mine is actually cut, is similar. So mine is an Oreo cheesecake from the Georgia mm. Diner. I, okay. If you've never had it, I'm bomb. not. <laughs> it is bomb. I've, I've had right. a, an Oreo cheesecake before. I don't know if it's that particular one, but I have. It's dope. Hey, Georgia Diner. Look, the the food. The I don't. I'm not a huge. I'm big on their like their you know country meals because I don't think they're all that. But their country. breakfast and their desserts. Point. Uh, so the last thing, most important thing, is drink. What you guys drinking? Uh, what, uh, easy. Take that one away. Uh, what I'm drinking. So if it is non-alcoholic, I'm probably going with a strawberry simply lemonade. Probably gonna have the whole jug just right here, chilling, whole game. Um, if we're going the alcoholic route, I'm definitely doing some cranberry and vodka. Mm. Okay. You know what? Let's do that. Alcoholic, non-alcoholic, because I like the way Easy's been thinking. It's hey, trendsetting. Let's go. <laughs> well, for me, I'm, I'm going to end up being born with this. So non-alcoholic is Dr. Pepper. Um, you probably cut me open and I'm bleeding Dr. Pepper. It's just mm. the default for me. Um, as far as alcoholic, I don't drink. I don't drink alcohol. So... All right, get your um, second, your second non alcoholic. If he was drinking, it'd be some like a Budweiser. Or yeah, but if I was, if it was those days, it, um, <laughs> if, if I was drinking it, like if we're talking about in my day when I was still in, you know, into that before I stopped, um, it would probably be like I, I was a big fan of, I like Crown and Coke. I was a big fan of Crown and Coke. So that would probably be my um, of choice, Crown and Coke. All right, Zeno. I'm smiling because he kind of took half of mine. But anyway, um, if it's non-alcoholic, I'm not drinking it. Um, <laughs> if it's alcoholic, um, it's either um, Crown Apple and Sprite or Jack Daniels and Coke. Okay. I got to try Crown Apple and Sprite. Man, Jack, Jack Daniels is the reason why I can grow facial hair, man. Like, <laughs> it's, it's nothing to play with. Yeah, I, I love Jack Daniels. It's great. I don't like the Honey Jack so much. It's a little too sweet, but Jack and Coke, for sure. All right. So my mine... Now an alcoholic, uh, I forgot about Dr. Pepper, and I'm from Texas. I was born in Texas, so really Dr. Pepper is like in my blood. So I would have done a Dr. Pepper, but because I've been raised here for too long, I would actually go with a sweet tea if it's not alcoholic. Oh, you can't go wrong with sweet tea, though. Yeah. I would make sure to go to probably the, either the worst McDonald's or the worst Waffle House in the worst neighborhoods because those will usually those tend to have the best sweet teas so that's where i would have to go and get mine but uh but alcoholic drink i'm just gonna do a man i'm just gonna toss a toss a nice uh fireball whiskey inside a side of a ginger ale if you've never had that it tastes just like apple cider wow so, see i'm used to just drinking fireball straight so i have yeah, never mixed it with I've anything never mixed it with anything either that's Oh, That's you got, really? You guys are the only two people that I know that would be willing to take. Because everybody that I that I was like, if I'm over here drinking a fireball just for the hell of it, like putting it in a little scotch glass, everybody's like, "What are you doing again? You, do you want to die?" I was like, "No, this is, this is." Uh, I, I, I mean, yeah. Every every time fireball's been in my possession, it's been a shot. I've never exactly. like, I was like drank shot fireball. Glass. Like I've never. <laughs> no, nah, listen. If well, I mean, no, it's Scotch glass. <laughs> That's a shot stuff. glass. But... I like sipping on my stuff uh, here and there. Uh, but okay. uh, if you've never had, uh, if you have to mix it, try with the ginger ale. It's actually, it actually tastes damn good. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to an office party with like a glass of Fireball, like sipping on it. Um, fireball is like if I'm, tr I'm trying to pregame to go out. But all right, let's get yeah, shot. I was about to say Fireball is definitely like the pre, the premier pregame drink. It's yeah. definitely I'm not almost at every pregame. But um, there might have been someone's company party, and I might have had some fireball inside of a, of a, of one of those uh, what the hell are they called flasks. Mm. Oh, this two part of flasks. Come on, man. Drop a little bit in here, here into some of my drinks, and just taking shots from it. So, uh, but anyway, hey, appreciate you guys for uh, taking part of this top five. This is our first uh, four people top five. That's the best Super Bowl meal. Everybody here is getting fat uh, yes. during Super Bowl Sunday. So. Uh, Amen. All right, uh, that's the top five. Zeno, what we got next?